Korean barbecue today. It's Labor Day, of course, and my skin is terrible. Just I've been on the sun, it's barbecue smoke and sweat and all that. So nighttime routine. I'm gonna try out some new things that came in uh, my Ipsy bag before I cut them out. Um, the first thing is the Marad Environmental Shield Essential C Cleanser. Um, it's like a clear cleanser and it's got these little um, like vitamin C. I don't know if you guys can really see it, but little vitamin C pellets that uh, crush into your skin when you wash it. Then we're going to use the Perlis Watermelon Energizing Marshmallow Peel Off Mask. And then my great find at the dollar store last week. Um, I kind of talked about this in my previous video and I'll link or card or whatever down below. Um, but this is a hydrating aloe and sea berry sheet mask. It's instantly moisturizes and softens for dewy skin. So I figured after the day I've had today, we will try that. Just got my cut balls. So you know the first thing I do before I do anything. Good old witch hazel that lasts you forever. So Ooh, wee. like it's hot that my hair looks a hot mess and I can't find my lip mask that I want to use for my lips and so I'm very upset about that but oh we'll find it later I, yeah I'm having to tell to do this again because my face is horrible And I'm gonna dampen my face a little bit because that's what the mask says to me. Maybe the cleanser says to me. I like that mask. I don't want to do this mask. And I also picked up a new Freeman cleansing, no, clearing pomegranate seal off, peel off face mask. Um, I've never seen this kind of packaging before, like a dollar, a family dollar. So I'm interested to try that one on me. So I'm gonna just clean my skin so then a circular motion massage over the face and neck. So that's what we're gonna do. Oh, that smells really good. It smells like I'm just gonna stick to studio. Oh, well, I guess I should have fixed that with the vitamin C on the label. Off. Got my face all clean and dried. So start with a clean, cleansed face, clean skin, and apply a thin layer to face, neck, and chest. Okay. I bet you don't know it doesn't. Oh, it smells like watermelon vodka. It smells exactly like Smirnoff watermelon vodka. Oh my gosh. Y'all, okay. This reminds me, the smell reminds me of college because it smells like watermelon spirit of vodka. Oh my God, this is crazy. You guys, <laughs> I'm sorry you guys, I'm laughing because oh, this is crazy how smells will bring back memories. This is bringing back, <laughs> oh my gosh. So quick little story while I'm putting this on. Um, I don't think we actually got Smirnoff vodka this night, but I was all excited. Like we used to go to the liquor store all the time and they never carded me when I was in college. Like they didn't card me. I went in with a friend one day and after that they, they didn't card me until the day I turned 21 <laughs> in Prairie View. 
Prairie View a and I'm not going to tell you which liquor store it is, but if you've ever been to Prairie View or lived around there, you can pretty much guess which liquor store I'm talking about. But, oh, this smells like watermelon vodka. So we're just going to keep, yeah, that's, that's exactly what it smells like. Oh, but it's pretty. Like, I don't know if you can kind of see. It's like got some shimmer in it. And I guess what's making it smell like watermelon vodka is because you know it's face. Um, most masks and things like that have alcohol in them. So I'm pretty sure that's what this is. What's making that smell, but, oh, memories. Memories. Gosh. Never got carded at the liquor store. <laughs> Oh, that was crazy. Literally to the day I turned 21, did I get carded? Then the day I turned 21, now everybody all of a sudden wants to see my ideal. Now, I don't look 21. When I wasn't 21, I guess I looked old AF. <laughs> and then the day I turned 21, I guess Fountain of Youth kicked in or whatever. I don't know. So, while we're waiting on this for a little bit, we're going to do a quick update on my poly gel nails. Um, due to my error and my error only, I have lost the nail. I'm not going to do a full review yet because I want to keep them up for the full two weeks before I start uh, on the review. Um, anyway, so before I go full on review, I want to wait two weeks just to see how everything is going to turn out in the long run. But yes, I did lose a nail, like I said, due to my error. But slight update, like it was, I did it too thin on the side, which was the problem. And so it kind of cracked. And when I would do my hair, do my daughter's hair, the hair would slide across. And of course, it would crack. But yesterday, I did that thing that all girls do when they get their nails done and when they have a harsh break. I slammed it. And it broke across the top of the nail. But I didn't feel a thing. Like, I didn't even realize that it was gone like I slammed it bad like it's got a hole right here and then yeah it was it was bad oh it was bad it was bad Ugh, okay I don't even want to go back to why how it ended up so bad but I didn't feel it like it didn't do that normal like radiating of pain when it went through I don't know if it was because maybe I didn't do it right and it wasn't on all the way maybe um but it didn't really hurt. So I'm excited about that. But they're, other than that, they're holding on pretty good uh, besides me slamming it. So yeah, I'm waiting for the full review on that. Um, I think I'm going to try the pink powder next. And I'm going to try to play around with my camera and see if I can get away to where you guys can see me doing my nails. So we'll see. So okay, we're going to let this finish drying and then I'll get back with you guys and it's time to pull it off. Okay. Ah, it's been 10, 15 minutes, roughly-ish. And it's time to peel this off. So it's supposed to tighten, brighten, and clear my pores. And it's really deep in there. Ah. Ow. Okay. Ow. Ow. My God. It's like a sparkly pink on one side and then a dull pink on the other side. Ooh. Oh, I'm glad this is coming off in big chunks. I was scared because it said thin layers. And we all know what happens with thin layers of face masks. They don't want to come off. <laughs> but this one is not that bad. It's really stuck on here though. Really. Okay. Oh. Oh. Ah, holy mother of Jesus. Oh. That part was Really on there. Oh. Oh. Ow, I'll be right back. Okay. So 
So, I'm going to use my witch hazel and kind of run over the rest of my face. Do you guys see how dry that... This is the part with the witch hazel. This is the part without... Oh my God, my skin is so dry. And the red you're seeing right here, it's from the mask. It literally... Oh my God. Mm-mm, oh. mm-mm. Yeah, that, that one's, the, this, what is this? What is this? Pearly's Watermelon Energizing Marshmallow Peel-Off Mask, Purifies Pores, Brightens Skin, Visibly Firms and Tightens. Let me tell you. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Oh. My skin. I don't know if you can see it. And no, I didn't holler. Oh my gosh. And no, I didn't holler because it was on my hair or anything. I hollered because when I pulled it from the just on the skin right here, it was so freaking tight. Okay. Oh. Yeah, that one's a no for me. Y'all can try it at your own discretion. Try it for yourself. If you think you're okay with it, if you got a high tolerance, pain tolerance, go ahead. It does exactly what it says it's going to do, but it's very drying, which is why I'm glad I'm using my Freeman's Feeling Beautiful Hydrating Aloe and Seaberry Sheet Mask. So it says dewy glowing skin is just minutes away with its facial mask with serum hydrating aloe replenishes and soothes dry skin while Seaberry helps to improve elasticity to for soft supple skin perfect for dry skin which is exactly what i have now after using this mask oh my god anyway this is let's see the gently on full sheet mask will apply to clean face adjust around eyes nose and mouth to those masks fall into the contours of your face and leave on and relax for 15 to 20 minutes what i'm going to do is actually take my shower um what i've learned with these sheet masks for me is it's easier to do them like do the 15 20 minutes in the shower and let the steam because i take hot showers and let the steam really get it and steamy and it ends up coming out so good so i'm just gonna unfold this it smells really good i guess that's the aloe and seaberry i have no idea what seaberry is so we're gonna have to look that up um well, it really doesn't matter what side you use because the stuff is on both sides. So here we go. And you smooth it around your face. <laughs> These are the most hilarious mask they ever could have came up with but they work okay so you just stretch it out try to get all the wrinkles out as much as you can but depending on your face you know these are kind of like a one size fit all so you kind of have to do what you can do y'all <laughs> <laughs> all right ready to go right back yeah i don't have don't think they'll be able to figure out who I am with this one. But it's got a lot of that liquid and I can feel it on my skin. So, okay, we're going to leave this on and then I'm going to take a shower and then I'm going to get back with you guys about how it feels. And basically, when we take this off, we're just going to kind of pat the serum in. Um, you don't have to wash it off or anything like that. So, see you in 10 minutes. Okay, so it has been 10 minutes. And I still look like... I'm just going to take this off right now. I still look like a... Uh, get ready to go rob bank. <laughs> oh, my God. These are like the funniest looking mask ever. Like, I'm just... <laughs> Okay, so it's time to take it off. So I'm just going to peel it off. Ooh. So it's not as wet as it was before. 
And of course, it's all over my face, which is supposed to be. So I'm gonna draw my hands off my robe a little bit. And we're gonna pat, 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 pat. Basically, my skin is very hydrated, very dewy. No, but oh, it feels amazing, guys, especially after ripping my skin off. <sighs> anyway, with that watermelon mush, marshmallow, mish mush, mash mush, whatever that stuff to rip my skin off was. So this is another success for Freemans. Of course, we knew that. So um, thank you guys for chilling with me and look forward to um, an update on the nails probably Friday evening, Saturday morning-ish because um, that'll be almost two weeks since they've been up. And then we'll talk about the next one I'm going to try. All right, you guys, till next time.